In this demonstration, we took some barium hydroxide octahydrate and we reacted it with ammonium chloride, two solids, one of which is a hydrate. And when you react them, you get a double replacement reaction where you get barium chloride and you get ammonium hydroxide and you get water liberated from the crystal lattice that it was in as a hydrate. So um, it also, that ammonium hydroxide will break down to produce the nice smell of ammonia, which I'm wafting now. Now this reaction is very much endothermic. It has a delta H of positive 105.1 kilojoules per mole. <clears throat> Just to prove that it's endothermic, I put a small amount of water on this wooden block and then I did the reaction above it. And the reaction absorbed the heat from the water that was sitting on top of the block and froze it in a way that it's now stuck in the grains of the wood. So it's stuck. And if you feel it, it's really cold. And if you actually measure the temp, it is negative five degrees Celsius in here. So below zero, below freezing. And that's why the Earl of Maya flask stuck to the wooden block. Now, just to go through how we can relate this thermochemistry to stoichiometry, here's the reaction that we had. I mixed 16 grams of barium hydroxide octahydrate with five and a half grams of ammonium chloride. Going to moles, we see that we get pretty much no excess reactant. We got 0.0508 moles of the barium hydroxide octahydrate and 0.103 moles of ammonium chloride since they react in two to one ratio. If we use up all the barium hydroxide, we would need 0.102 moles of the ammonium chloride, which we have, and we have very, very little left over. Now, knowing that we're gonna use all of the barium hydroxide in this reaction, we can just take that value of 0.0508 moles of barium hydroxide octahydrate, multiply it by the delta H of the reaction. And I wrote the word absorb because delta H is positive, meaning it's an endothermic process. And you get that that reaction that happened right there absorbed 5.34 kilojoules um, of energy and froze the wooden block to the Erlenmeyer flask. Thank you.